today is Thursday, April 17th, 2015, and I am currently three weeks post-op from having gastric sleeve surgery. I had my surgery on March 25th, and I have some really exciting news. I went to the doctor today for my three-week follow-up. I will go back in three more weeks for a six-week follow-up. And I found out that I hit the 50 pound mark. So I have lost 50 pounds since I started my journey. Since I started my journey with the uh, St. Francis Weight Loss Clinic back in November of 2014. So I'm 50 pounds lighter today than I was this time last year. I couldn't be more proud of myself. Um, it's been it's been a great journey. Um, I had someone ask me the other day, a very dear friend of mine who is contemplating having the gastric sleeve surgery herself, and she asked me, she goes, Amy, I know that you've had some pain and you've had a, you know, a few complications here and there, but would you do it again? Would you do it again tomorrow? And my answer is, without a shadow of a doubt, I would do it again. So that's my answer absolutely <laughs> so that brings me down to 24 pounds lost in three weeks 24 pounds that is just amazing um it was great to see everyone at the clinic today and kind of get caught up i had a chance to again see my doctor and he said my incisions look great i'm healing great i wore heels uh, wedges to work today for the first time and I'm feeling good. He released me to go back to the gym and guess where I was after work today? I went to the gym. <laughs> one of my coworkers and one of my uh, huge supporters that is in visiting from Des Moines, Iowa. Um, she's here um, she and I are co-workers, and she went to the gym with me this evening, and it was nice to have someone to talk to as I was on the elliptical and doing the bike and doing some free weights, or she did some free weights, and I did some of the, the weight machines, so it was definitely felt good to get back in the gym. I noticed that it's a... Working out is a lot different when you're not carrying around that extra 50 pounds. The elliptical today was so much easier. To, um, before when I was working out, I would have to do like two minutes on the elliptical and stop and take a drink and two more minutes and then stop and take a break and take a drink and then two minutes and so on. But today I did 13 minutes and I think I stopped twice. It was like, this is a whole lot easier to move without this extra 50 pounds on me. And um, so yeah, so I'm back in the gym. I also have been released to travel starting next Thursday. Um, my job, uh, one of the luxuries of my job is I get to travel often for work. So I texted my boss today and I'm like, I get to travel next Thursday. Where am I going? <laughs> Where's my next trip? So I haven't been able to travel, obviously since, obviously, since I had my surgery. They asked that you wait four weeks post-op to, to travel. So I'm healing well. The doctor felt like I was in a, a great place. And everything just has just went really good today um, through my weight loss journey. I had a chance to talk to the psychologist. She was passing in the hallway, and I told her... Um, I just basically thanked her and I said, thank you so much for helping me with this coping method. And I told her about my blog and how I've been able just to get on here and just talk and talk about what I'm feeling and talk about my successes and talk about my failures and not feel like I'm being judged or like anyone is going to put me down and or anything like that. She did um, briefly talk to me about um, body image and how I may not be ready for, you know, the attention or the compliments that I'm going to get as people start to notice my weight loss. So that's definitely something that I'm going to keep in mind as I'm going throughout this journey. And I want to make a confession right here, right now. I, for the past week, have been a scale watcher. I have literally weighed myself three, four times a day. 
I was told last Wednesday whenever I met with um, with Sherry that my weight loss was going to slow down and I was at the 46 pound mark and I couldn't wait to hit that 50 pound mark so I was weighing myself every day and I was weighing myself obsessively. I was ex I was obsessing over 0.5 ounces on the scale. Um, I was obsessing over basically over the scale and you know Jason said something to me and brought it to my attention because I was getting frustrated. I was like babe I've, I've not lost any weight. Um, the scales aren't moving or I'm still at 307. I can't get past 307. You'd be like, well, how many times you weigh yourself today? Three times. Um, you know, once in the morning, once when I got home from work, and then once the night before I went to bed. And it started to play with, um, it started to play with my mind. And I started obsessing, like I said, obsessing over the scale. And that's not healthy. Um, I started taking a look at what I was putting in my mouth and going, am I not losing any weight because I had that low-fat mayo for lunch? Am I not losing weight because I had potatoes for dinner and it was a carb? So I started obsessing over losing three pounds or four pounds and it's, it, it really it really started to mess with me. Um, when I hit the 50 pound mark today, and it was official, I felt, I, yesterday when I got on the scale, I noticed that I had lost the 50 pounds. And I was really excited, but today when the doctor made it official, um, I felt really good about myself. And I came to the realization that my weight loss is gonna slow down. But I've come so far already. I mean, there's 50 less pounds on this body right now. And if I'm only down one pound between now and next week, that's okay, Amy. Don't, you know, don't beat yourself up over a few pounds. My sister, who is gorgeous and who is very fit and very healthy, she says it takes her six weeks to drop a pound, and I need to be thankful that I'm losing weight at the speed that I am. And I don't need to obsess over every little pound. Um, it will come off, and it will come off in due time. And I have to listen to my body, and my body is gonna react to this surgery. My body is gonna react to the food that I'm eating. And my body's going to tell me when I'm full. And I just need to stop obsessing over the scales. It felt good to hit that 50-pound mark, but it's not worth weighing myself three times a day and putting myself down three times because I didn't lose any weight the day before. Or I gained a half a pound because of what I ate you know, during that day. And I know that that's not true, but that's, that's what I was going through mentally in my head is, you know, Amy, you're failing at this because you didn't lose three pounds today and it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So I'm going to be happy with where I'm at and I'm going to be happy and I'm going to be proud of myself for the 50 pounds that I did lose. And I'm just going to take it a day at a time and a step at a time. I'm not going to take it a pound at a time because if I do that, then um, I'm going to put myself in a really bad spot and that's not where I want to be. I want to be happy. Um, so that's my truth journal <laughs> for the day. I'm celebrating that I've lost 50 pounds and I'm celebrating that I'm not going to obsess over every pound that I lose or every ounce that I that I gained for the day. I'm just gonna be happy with where I am. And I'm gonna love myself no matter what size I am. So, oh, a little teary there. <laughs> but um, I hope everyone is having a successful journey no matter where you're at on your weight loss. And just remember that you're beautiful and hope you have a blessed day.